and trying to give him more privacy. He was doing so much better on the Depaquil. No, what were they prescribed for? Richard was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. And when he's not taking his meds, does he get violent? He just imagines things that aren't there. He's never hurt anyone else. But has he hurt himself? Scar on his neck? He tried to cut his throat. I am so sorry for that woman and her daughter. Ma'am, we need to find your son. He's not answering his cell. Can you think of any friends he might have gone to for help? Richard's not social. Almost all his friends are on the computer. This list is from his website. Can you tell me if any of these names are people he knows in the real world? That one. Death Ferret? Uh, they're a music group. He said he knew their singer. Richard was going to see them perform Thursday night. Yeah, Elam. Psychopath. Where is he? How the hell should I know? Oh, isn't he one of your friends? No, I just used to be friends to promote the band. I never even met the dude until he came to the show last week and started a fight. Screaming about being the Messiah or something. You seen or talked to him since? I don't know him, all right? But because my name's Rich and my band has death in its name, I'm getting hassled by you and flamed by like a million people who think I'm the killer. Check, check. Hey. Get your ass back here. And a 16-year-old girl got kidnapped by a psychotic. Who do you think's having a worse day? Check it. Check. Here. You got about 10 seconds to give me the name of somebody who does know him. Otherwise, you can forget about your little concert here tonight. Vic Vodka. He in a band, too? Check, He's just check. a club kid. But on Be Friends, he's like some kind of god. He sends me names to put on the comp list for the shows. Normally just chicks that he wants to bone, but he, he's the one that told me to put Elam on the list, and he took Elam out of here, out of the fight. Look, I'd love to help, yo, but now ain't exactly a good time for Vic. You feel me? Feel this. Oh. I said we're looking for Richard Elam. Hey, I hardly know the guy. I got him on the list for some bands when he gave me some free MP3s. That's it. Send him a message. Tell him you want to meet. He won't answer. He emailed from a new account. He said he's going off the grid and moving to Canada like a sign-off. Well, when was this? Like half an hour ago. I'll call CITU. All right, give me that new email address. And you two go home to your parents. Now! Elon logged on 45 minutes ago from a coffee shop outside of New Paltz. Owner of the place said he was online about 10 minutes and hit the road. The owner see anyone with him? There was someone in Elon's back seat, but he didn't see a face. But she was still alive. He said there was movement, and when he thought about it, it was like restricted movement, like she was tied up or something. Well, if Elon is in New Paltz, that means he's on the throughway. Be heading to the Catskills. He could be anywhere. And with all those pictures of Molly, he's obviously obsessed. And the father knew nothing about it. Well, he didn't seem hip enough to control a teenage girl's online activity. Yeah, well, I might not be either. Hey, listen, we got to hit off the Amber Alert. Elam's SUV was seen getting off the thruway near Coxsackie. Go. I'll get the local PD up to speed. There are no plates, but it matches the description of your vehicle. And the clerk says the guy who checked in last night matches your perp. Room's empty. He must be on foot. Clerk say if a girl was with him? Didn't see one, but your guy could have got her in and out without anybody knowing. Detectives. Just got a report of a carjacking two miles from here. Man and a teenage girl both matching your description. Blue sedan heading north on Highway 9. All right, we're following you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.